All right, before foreign money goes on his luxury holiday, <laughs> he's already all geared up. <laughs> Vacation mode. He's already all geared up. Yes, sir. But before all that, he wanted to do one last video for you guys. Or actually two. He did 10 giveaways today. Literally. <laughs> he gave away yeah. 10 accounts today. <laughs> 10 accounts. That was wild. On his live stream. So you guys are missing out if you haven't subscribed to him yet. Go to his channel. Anyway, today we got an interesting one. $200 into 190K. Okay. In four hours. Very interesting. What? In four hours? Wait, I just read that. Oh, right in now. four hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, shoot. But it might be legit, guys. Let's go heard a lot of crazy trading stories online but this might be the craziest one i've ever heard and it didn't even happen online it happened just down the street from me this isn't one of those videos with somebody driving around in a lambo or trying to sell you something thomas isn't selling anything i'm not selling anything this is just a great story for some inspiration and uh, maybe you can take some lessons from it so here's thomas who's a laid-back guy in his own words, on a day that he's going to remember forever and a day where he turned $200 into $190,000 in just four hours. I mean, it's a great start, right? No course. Yeah. yeah. No Lambo. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you can we have a Lambo it. and do it. But yeah, like, yeah. So, uh, yeah. for this kind of a thing, you have to get lucky. It's not something, bro, like even an experience. In trader, four hours, yeah, that's... No, like even an experienced trader. Well, maybe Mr. P can pull it off, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna leave. You're not gonna leave Mr. P alone, bro. You're gonna. Just... <laughs> <laughs> bro, he it's didn't respond Mr. to P. me. So. Sorry. He didn't respond to me. He didn't want oh, to. He come... did. So you reached out to him. Yeah, I messaged him on Instagram. He just left me. So. Oh no. Okay. I mean. I don't know. Mr. P, play, if you're I watching, guess. you can come on the channel and chill. You know? Yeah, just 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 before we continue here, guys, none of this is like some people think we're attacking them and stuff. We're just ver trying to verify the claims. Yeah, two hundred k in like four hours, it's a substantial claim. So we want to see if there's any evidence. That's all. And as traders, we're just reacting to it and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, Mr. P, if you are watching, you're more than welcome to come on the show, DM us or Marcus most likely because he already DM'd you, and just take it up from there. It's not a hate thing. We're just no. traders out here looking at what's going on, and there are a lot of fake people out there. So. We just call it as we see it. Okay, so I'm here with Thomas today, and uh, this is the craziest story I've really heard in a long time about trading. And the, the insane thing is, is that Thomas is my neighbor, more or less. He lives just down the street from me, and I'm friends with Thomas's dad, and he came to me about a month ago and said, Adam, I know you're, you're into trading. I don't know much about it, but my son Thomas came and he made quarter million dollars Let's skip a little bit to the, how it actually happened it's going to show the screen you. and all that so most likely the most replayed yeah like part right here is, is where we want to be yeah but if you want to see the full thing it's in the description below yes yeah the one thing you bought the one thing i bought just to build my credit because money without credit is nothing that's the, that's the magic of money isn't it yes. borrowed money is much better than your own yes it helps your credit and so it's a, got a new motorcycle. We're talking about new motorcycle, credit, looking at getting a newish car, just have a little fun with it. Okay, good. So right off the bat, he's at least being smart with his decisions, right? Like he made money, he's not blowing it all. He's like, I'm going to just buy something to build credit, buy nothing too crazy, and he's going to try and build his credit so he can use his money more wisely. It seems like that's pretty good. So wait, if in, in Canada, because that's where they are, right? Yeah. <clears throat> if you make 190K, like how much is that? In tax we're taxed in tiers eventually you get to a certain bracket where they take 50 50 or 54 something like that 50 percent basically of that bracket i have to oh, check wow. but recently when my wife and i went to go do our taxes we got Hammer. it was really nasty we got washed mm. yeah 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 i um yeah because you're obviously like in a higher breaks here is like 10 percent capped but some countries are like close to zero like in the netherlands where i used to live bro like 50k was zero uh if you get up to a million which is the highest it's like four percent tax what on crypto and uh, Wait, crypto, where was this forex any kind of investment the netherlands monaco is zero bro isn't dubai like that too gotcha. it's like the best in the world wow best that's why a lot of people are moving there i see I mean, Monaco, you have like Cayman Islands and all that stuff. And we're going to show about five minutes. And this looks like it's at 5.08 a.m. Yeah. 5.08 a.m. That's Eastern time. Yeah. And, and you'll see this account. 
So this picks up now uh, to set it up. You're you're up to tw you started with two hundred dollars. Yeah. You're up to twenty one thousand dollars here, which is an incredible accomplishment at this point. Yes. Yeah. That's why I started to record it because <laughs> other people needed to see it because they wouldn't have believed it. They wouldn't have believed. And you can we see. Uh, let's bring up the. It's not a great shot of it, but we, you can see this. I guess this is the lead into it. And this shows sort of where you start, and these are every trade. Yeah. And it's basically sell, 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 oil all the way down. Bro, it's super crazy. He's just adding and adding and adding onto it. Yeah, but uh, there's a method to his madness, yeah. though. That's what I wanted to say about his videos. At least you can kind of clearly see what his, you know, what his reasoning was. You can see he's using indicators, and he's just following the trend. You can see he's using a parabolic SAR, he's using Bollinger Bands, and he's using some EMAs, I think. And basically, it looks like whenever they were going up, he was buying up. When they were, they were going down, he was selling. But you know what's so, really interesting, bro? Mm -hmm. He's not cashing out. He's got like 21K here. And he just keep, bro, I would have cashed out like a 2K. A thousand percent. <laughs> you know, like a you made 200 percent. into 2K, you're out. But it, this guy thought like, I'm going to take it all the way. So that's pretty so cool. So I'm curious to hear what made him finally close his positions. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, let's see. I'm very curious. Are you seeing a setup or? Yeah. I just, I see when it hits it, I know more than likely it's going to bounce back. So this is around when you start to sell? Right about there, yeah. Okay, and then we get, um, so right at the top of that, so you are kind of on this little upswing anyway? Yeah, so I placed the sell, but then it started to go up somewhere in there, and then that's when it came back down. Right, right, you almost got to sell towards yeah. the right. So then we sort of skip ahead, I've got it. Sorry, real quick, was this during the time when oil was like going through the floor? Is it around the same time? You remember like a couple of years ago, oil was really bad, like it was oh, just yeah. falling. It was right after COVID, I think. Three yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah, 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 there you go, that makes sense, because the way... Yeah, yeah, the way his, I'm looking at this, I'm like, bro, that must have been at that same time. Yeah. yeah. Got you. I noticed that when he's deep enough in profit with certain positions, he's closing to add to his equity or his uh, his his balance. So that's kind of, that makes sense, right? Like he's letting some run and he's still securing some profits. I think mm -hmm. that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah, true. Because he started with 200 and over time yeah. he was already 1.2. Exactly. Yeah. So... I guess he was kind of like, well, I'm playing with the house's money at this point. So, mm. you know what I mean? If anything happens, I can cut out some positions. But for now, because as soon as he was closing some, he started opening others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, that, that's interesting. Yeah, all right. So this kind of shows it too. This is around when your first trades were maybe a bit earlier than this. And then the kind of video starts and catches catches the this main. part here, yeah. the early part of it. Um, okay, so let's now let's, let's kind of go into the video now. And just to set it up... Um, you can see on these sell sides, there's this very small trade of 0.03 of a lot. Earlier it was 0.01 of a lot. Yeah. And it's not showing them all here, but you can yeah. see you built some positive. I'm like, bro, where the heck is that coming from, bro? I what was that? I don't know. Yeah, that was like that was like a that's a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. But I mean, like I said, there's a method to his madness. Like things, you know, huge feat, but it makes mm. sense to me. No, so. it's it's believable. He showed that it was a real account. He skipped, and of course, that mm -hmm. created it. But mm -hmm. I, I, th I I believe these guys. They're not selling anything. Music helps with the mood and the confidence. <laughs> nice. So I so you're listening to some hip hop. Yep. Got the earphones on. You're at work, and now you just see the speed of what's happening here. And we were gonna pause it, I guess, along the way. Um, all right, so what's happening? You basically you're watching. Are yeah. you really close to trade there? Uh, yeah, so I went close to that trade there, and I just placed the first three lot, I think it was, at that point, and that's where I started to pull back, but I just kept going because the candles just kept dropping and dropping. And, and so now it's your update. So you're changing the size yep. of the line. You go from three to four. Yep. You sell yeah. that, you wait, to find out if there's was a margin yep. in the account, and it's successful. And now it keeps taking lower, and... And then as soon as it would let me place even bigger. So okay, now you're up to six. Again, yep. you go on in there, right? Yep, and I just... What do you want to say about that? <laughs> hey, bro, like... Any yeah, like retracement, crazy. like from that level, if it, yeah, but that's I don't know crazy. how oil moves. I don't, I haven't traded it. This reminds me of a video I watched where a guy did something similar to this, and at one point he opened a 50 lot <laughs> on uh, I think it was on gold, yeah, accidentally. No, 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 on purpose. Oh. I'm saying, like, as it was going down, he was opening bigger positions. At one point, he had a 50 lot in there, so it was scaling like crazy. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know about trading like that, though. Like, it you know, like as it's going down, you're putting in bigger positions, that's that's mad risky. You it see is. what I'm saying? Like, if you have a big position at the beginning, then you're scaling in with smaller positions. I understand that. But buying big positions, one retracement could be detrimental, no? Yeah, and you could lose the 20K. Yeah. This is kind of gambling behavior, to be honest. But he got lucky. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Like, does he do this? Did he get lucky? Is he a full-time trader? No, I want to no, see he, where he's at now. In the beginning, he said he just started out. He's just like, well, keeps falling. Might as well keep selling.
Beginner's so, luck. I yeah. guess so, man. That's a hell of a lucky streak, though. So they kept going. They would pull back every so often, and then I would just place another one, close out some trades if I had to get some extra equity. Yeah, so you're closing out some trades now? Yeah, so if I had to get a little more equity to place a couple more sells, I would do that. But even, like, it just jumped from 20 to 40. Right. So you see up at the top there now, it's 40,000. Yeah. You're not like, noticing this really at this point? No, no, it's really just kind of worrying about that it's going to pull back at this point. Okay. And that's why I started to close some of those trades to get the balance up so that I would be able to uh, place more sells in case it did And now you go back and you try to, this yeah. is when you really... This is when I knew it was going to drop, just my gut told me. Oh. Okay, so you just want to pause it right there, you kind of scroll up and down and bring it back because it shows, this is sort of all the open trades you have, it's about the 10 on the screen here. And as you scroll down, you can see there are these one, two, three lots. And so you're all in massive yeah. profit with all of these. But you're going to three lot, three lot, and then you scroll down, and now you're in the four, six, ten lots. And you're looking yeah. underwater these, I guess, but that's, that's exactly the ten lots is yeah. one cent is underwater. Yeah, that was the first red on that. It was pretty, yeah. And then instantly, you guys were watching, and we paused it there. Yeah. So you're sitting at seven dollars, seventeen now. Oil is just in a couple minutes down. Yeah. And then the chart really starts to take another hit here after that ten lot. So now there's no level you're really watching. No, no, it's just if it goes down, I go with it. And was that another ten lot? You said yes, ten here? Three tens. And then it wouldn't let me place that ten. Oh, good. And so this is all in real time now, so it's yeah. up to 80,000. Yeah. Your phone is attached to a charger? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was going to die. I was scared I was going to die, and uh, I would lose everything. On 3G? Yep. Not even 4G LTE. And so now at this point, you're up to cross $100,000. You're still selling here. Yes. And you can see, just briefly there, if I bring it back, how many lots we're up to there. So you got 10, 10, 10, 10, so five of those here now. So now you're up, and you're still we're down to another 50 cents now, almost 60 cents just since you started hammering the offer again. Did you close out something there? Yeah. Just to get an extra. I was about to say he's about to go. Bounce in the equity, so I was sure there that I pulled out extra money. <laughs> and now you hit, that was just a 20? Yeah. You managed to. <laughs> That's Ooh. hilarious. Yeah, bro. This guy's a. I think you mentioned that he was at work doing this. <laughs> he's oh, probably wow. like in some day job, like, oh, let's put more, let's put more. He just had this feeling it was going to work, and he bet, bet the farm on it, and it worked out. It's crazy because this is what I'm saying. Like as a beginner, you're kind of free of all these things because as an experienced trader, there are way too many things that you would look at that would tell you don't do this. Mm. But as a beginner, those things are not, those barriers aren't there. So he can just go with his gut. And, you know, luckily for him, at that time, oil was just going down. Like it just was not slowing down. But I, I also understand like him because I guess he understands it's going to pour for a bit. He's really, his risk management though, as crazy as all of it, is somewhat logical. Like he's closing yeah. positions to make more margin. He's again going with his gut. We may not agree with it, but he's closing positions. Then he's opening bigger lot sizes. And as they're going down, he's putting in more, closing some. So like he still has like that's what I'm saying. There's a method to his madness. I a twenty lot there, and I count just to 148 to 143,000. I tried to place another twenty. At this point, the trades I was trying to trade so fast that it wasn't doing anything. His broker was starting to pull back, and it just yeah. Uh, so we're sitting at 160, and the bot's still falling here. Well. You really caught this one huge candle from yeah. 17 to 15. You just sold another 20 line. That's where it yeah. went. Look at where he started recording. He probably rode this all the way to the bottom before that retrace him. That's a hell of a hold, bro. Like 6 a.m. and then 9. Six yeah. and then 9. I was starting to close them out, and it was about a three, four-minute process because it was a couple seconds for every trade I had to close. Wait, wait, uh, no, I wasn't even uh, done work yet. I yeah, nowadays, like... They actually just released it this year that you can close out all trades, like oh yeah, of course. Orders. So this was mm -hmm. three years ago. So you, you had to close everything. Yeah, you like had to one close. I would be sweating because some brokers it would pause. You go mm. back, the trade is still open. You close it again, it would say done. You go back, it's still open, bro. You're like, yeah. what the heck is going on? So oh, man. I left work. Yeah, I told uh, my boss that I just made hundred ninety thousand, and he said, okay, go home. Why are you still here? So. <laughs> That was all he said? Yep. So I just walked away, went in my car, drove home. Yep. Still had my safety glasses on, earplugs in. I was just driving. I'm going to check. <laughs> Look at this comment. <laughs> Great story. He gambled. He got lucky. He won. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's all about. Oh, the story of Thomas, a 19-year-old trader who was working in a factory night shift and trading on his phone <laughs> it's remarkable for real that's it that's a impressive feat, bro it was trading crazy. in a factory job he put 200 bucks in he was like screw it kept on adding to the position if this is true bro it's incredible it is incredible hours, for real. end of his shift he's like later boss made 190k <laughs> bye bye mm -hmm. <laughs> wow man. i want to see if there's a follow-up though All right, cool. Um, I would love to know where he's at now. The guy doesn't give me a reason to not believe him in a sense. Everyone like, is based off of 
you know, his reasoning, the way he went through, he himself had acknowledged that it was a bit of luck on his part. Um, and at the what, beginning, what, after would, he, what would be the reason for them lying? Look, this guy as well. I mean, okay, wait, he's got a web page, but he's not saying like, oh, I coached him. I did this. Yeah, and he's, he's not selling of, anything. Yeah, the guy who me, did is not like, selling anything, yeah. Because of me, he turned 200 into four, uh, whatever. Yeah. He's just yeah. like going like, okay, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. Cool story. All that's all. Yeah, and I mean, you know, after it's... what he did with his money and everything too, it just everything just seems like he he understands was a you know a big like uh, streak of luck, and um, he seemed it, the the thing that I think I liked the most about the way he approached everything is that even though all of this was crazy, he still has this methodology behind it. Like he seems like a reasonable person. Like we call it gambling, sure, but he still had a strategy to all this. He still had. You know, like things that made him say, "Okay, if this happens, I'll do that." To why he closed at that point when stuff starts to retrace. So, uh, it's believable to me. I won't lie. Yeah, same. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one, where we'll go even into crazier mm -hmm. oil story. Yeah, I'm curious as to what we got to see next.